Hey guys, my name is Magan and welcome to ROM. Uh, this is a, um, technically they haven't, the developers haven't described it as a game. It's a short um, experience. I, I found it on, not GameDrop for once, it was on um, Itch.io. And uh, yeah, it's part of a, uh, a first year project by, um, I think it's three guys. I can't remember their names, um, but I think they're from Berlin. And if I try and pronounce them, I'm probably sure I'll get it wrong because I don't want to do them a disservice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is meant to be like like a short experience. Um, they haven't referred to it, you know, as a game because I don't know if there's much to actually do. You kind of just explore these islands and all these deserted uh, and forgotten machines and stuff like that. That's what they say in their description. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is part of a first year project. So if this is their first year stuff, I... I, I I can't wait to see what kind of things they'll be able to come up with in the future. Oh, we're going dark already. I don't know what's happening. I think you can manipulate the weather. Oh, we get some music. So yeah, I don't know if there's anything. Oh, I can move quicker now. That's that's good. <laughs> it felt a little bit slow there. And yeah, you only use like the left analog stick, or you can use the WA, um, WASD keys to move around and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to have a little go of this. Because even though like they described it as like a short experience rather than a game, it looks so pretty. Like just like the style of the like the graphics and stuff looks so cool. Oh, I go slow again now. I wish it was. That that would be my first gripe. That um, <laughs> I can't move faster. Is it just because I'm over the sand? Maybe. So maybe the different environments that you're hovering over slow you down, kind of thing. But I mean, it looks really cool. So they're thinking about ways that they can develop this at the moment. Uh, I don't think they've got specific idea in mind. But I mean, you could pretty much go anywhere with something like this. It's, this is technically like just a map, really. So you could go sort of like an RPG direction, where this is like the world map or something like that, or or similar to something like Don't Star, where it's like a resource management thing. Um, if it was like that, you probably have want to have the the screen zoomed in a, a bit more. Maybe I don't know. This, these are just random suggestions, or you could have something sort of like a like a puzzle game, like The Witness. If any of you guys have played that, that game is awesome. I mean, this could be a nice, like game to just sit and chill, and relax and play. So for now, we're just gonna do do a little bit bit of exploring and see what we can um, come across. Like I hope once we get on the grass, I can move faster because. I move a little bit faster here. Do I? No, I don't think I do. Okay, so it looks like there's little areas that you need to fill in. So there is some sort of goal, at least. So it already feels kind of like, kind of puzzle game-esque. So can I move through the trees? I can go over the trees, at least. Oh, I can't get around that. Can I go here? Yeah, so my, my only thing is, oh, I can't even go over the lake. Yeah, my only gripe would be, this moves very slowly. That could that could be intentional to make it, you know, like, more relaxing and stuff, but... I, I don't know how big this island is either, if it's literally just, just this little area here. But, I mean, there's... Yeah, it looks like this is just it, really. But, I mean, there's... Like, I can't really expect a super huge amount of stuff to do. Seeing as it is, like like I said, just a first-year project. But it still looks great. So, where can I... Can I... I hope I can go over these trees. No, I just... I can't. I can't at all. I'm not entirely sure where to go. And... <laughs> Yeah, the speed. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep on going on about it, but 
it is a bit oh frustrating so that was the moon thing I just want to be over here so I can move quickly <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do I do? Where do I go? So these things aren't doing anything anymore. And I've stopped being able to move fast. Hmm. Maybe if I... Can I... Can I scoot around here? No, it's not even going to let me go past... No, I can't get past there. So let's head on back up to this middle bit. Maybe if I hover over this middle bit, something will change and it will allow me access to somewhere else, maybe? Because I, when I go over that, I get a little clip. Hmm. What do I do, guys? I'm stuck already and it's been about two minutes. <laughs> I feel like I should be down here doing something at least because this has got one of the little symbols on it. But I don't know how to I don't know how to activate things. Ooh, okay, maybe I just maybe I was just meant to hover over that. Maybe I've got to do one at a time kind of thing. Or do them in a certain order. Ah, here we go. We're making some progress now. What's that? I really like the audio as well. Where did the where did the sound go? Did I did that switch off? Does that mean that one's done? I'm guessing if I go over it now, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, there's a cave. Can I go in that cave? Maybe. Maybe not. So yeah, I've got two of them done by by the looks of things now. So let's go back up here and if I go over this, is it going to do anything? No. Right, so that thing is flashing. I think I had to do them in a specific order maybe. So if I go over here and come over this. No, you're not going to do anything for me? Oh. There you, there you go. It felt like I, I it went there. <gasps> That's cool! <laughs> <laughs> so now now it's turned to ice now I can get over here oh this is yeah it very much feels like this should be a puzzle game more than anything else oh that music the way it just kind of slowly comes in oh look it's snowing as well this is really nice So that one's done, so I've got one more left to do. Bye, Snow! So the last one is over here to the right. So what's going to happen here? Is it going to be like an avalanche or something? Hmm. This one's flashing now. Maybe it's going to take me on a path all the way round or something. Or maybe it just ends up the top here. Now we've got the rain. Oh, <laughs> that looks cool. I like how the lightning synced with when you go over it as well. Like something's about to happen. And the way like the screen pans out and stuff like that. And 
It's really cool. Is it going to stay raining forever now? So I've got them all done. Let's go back to the middle and see what happens. I hope the lightning doesn't like hit me. Oh, just the music's so nice and relaxing. See, now I thought I would have been able to... There you go, I can. So you kind of... Go over the things to be able to change the environment. So once you finish the puzzle... So I want to make it, I want to make it snow. I like the snow. There you go. And I think... What was this one? This one was just sunny, wasn't it? This one, this one's, this one's very curious. That sounds like the audio has been reversed. Maybe I'll try and reverse it back like while I'm editing to see if it actually says anything. But for now, it looks like that that's that's pretty much all you can do. But it very, it very much feels like it should be a puzzle game, and this could be like expanded on quite a lot, I think. So yeah, like I said, looks really cool. Um, quite relaxing to play, actually. Not really stressful at all. The only thing is that the, like I said, the thing that you control, I don't know why, what it actually is. If you're a little like fairy or something, or that's, that would be interesting to find out, you know, what you're controlling. But I mean, yeah, it looks great. Um, like the effects and the snow and like the puzzles are really cool. Uh, I think this could be something, you know, really good. If they if they carry on, you know, working hard at uni <laughs> and working on their projects and stuff, I think this could be something really good. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, if you want to play this yourself, uh, I will leave the description. I will leave uh, the link down in the description below, um, as always. And if you like this video, uh, give me uh, a like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel because I, I play games and um, I try and release stuff every day around 6 pm. So, this is going to be it from me for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow at 6 pm. GMT, British time. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.